Welcome back to the EagleCraft uh, channel. Want to welcome you to a, a new model launch for us. Looks like a 38 foot cruiser, uh, but uh, this project started out with a napkin a couple years ago at a boat show. The customer absolutely had to have a 38 where they could walk around the boat. So all brand new design. You can see the side door on the boat, uh, access from the cabin side. Um, based on our traditional uh, 38 cruiser hull that we've widened to allow for the walk around. Also great vantage point of our uh, uh, side door that we incorporate on most of our recreational boats here at Eaglecraft. Very nice stout door. Climb inside the boat here, give you a nice view of the aft deck for the business end as some people like to call it. So quite a few things going on here. Uh, one thing is uh, one of the first that we've ever done is our fold out uh, built in house uh, aft seat. You see that just folds out as simple as that. Got a nice place uh, for people to sit. You can also see access there to our storage compartment. I'll lift that up for you so you can have a look at that as well. So this will give you access. Customer Howard, he has some of his personal items on board like the cleaning table. Um, typically, uh, this is quite a bit more storage in this boat. However, this will show you how we do install our uh, Sea Keeper system. So underneath the, uh, this checker plate or diamond plate, depending on where you live, is the Sea Keeper 3 on this particular boat. Uh, this is a removable uh, shield um, and it does have quick access uh, for servicing and things like that. Uh, but plenty of storage down there particularly without the Sea Keeper, even though it is a, a great feature to, as an option. And inside this cabinet, uh, some of the electrical systems, uh, fuel filters and things like that for the rigging side of things. And then of course, with a side door, we also try to offer uh, the boats uh, with a transom door, we typically install them opposing. So the port side usually has the transom door, so you can still access the boat from the port side, uh, or with the side door on the, on the starboard side, as you guys saw. Really nice wrap around um, swim grid. Does have a nice walk through when the engines are down as well. Most of our boats these days are coming equipped with the Berwyn uh, mounting system. Works out really well for the cleaning table. Uh, so we designed it so you can have the downrigger out or the cleaning table out at the same time. Uh, so all the fish guts and all that fun stuff go off the side of the boat, not on the transom, even though you can't put the cleaning table here across the, across the transom of the boat. This particular customer, this had to be kind of a jack of all trades, multi-purpose adventure boat. Uh, so you can see here, we built in a, a nice removable table and a, a aft looking seat that does have some storage underneath as well. And then of course you come to the aft console. So this boat is equipped with a triple 300 Yamaha uh, with the Hellmaster EX system. Uh, so you see it is equipped as such with a nice 12 inch Garmin display. Uh, then it does have uh, some, some switching here for some of the systems on board. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Again, another nice feature that we've started to incorporate in all our boats is what we're calling our Eagle Shade. Um, it's just as the name suggests, it's simply a shade. Uh, so literally one finger, this will pull out. And now provide some nice sun protection. Very, very simple system. Uh, feature that a lot of our customers are getting really excited about. We call it a sunshade, uh, but in those, you know, misty Northwest days, definitely will offer you some protection there as well. Then of course, we have our transom shower as an option there built into the aft deck. So you can definitely stand out here on the swim grid and, and take a nice warm uh, shower if you'd like. And then built into the boat, we have two fish lockers on either side uh, built into the deck. Uh, So you can see what that looks like. This one's designed to be more for storage, uh, but it is a fish box. Uh, we can plumb it to uh, raw water, and we can also refrigerate uh, these units as well uh, with a thermostat control. 
I think this will give you a nice view of the walk around. So we'll make our way forward here and have a look at uh, what we decided to do with the bell. So again, multi-purpose is really important to this customer that there be seating uh, for his family when not fishing and cruising. Uh, so definitely just a fantastic boat to uh, have some drinks and, and some dinner out here. Uh, I can feed set probably at least uh, six to eight people, no problem out here with the full walk around. And of course, you still have nice access to a windlass. It is a pendant control, uh, so no foot switches. Um, so there's a pendant that plugs in and also uh, controls at the, at the main helm as well. And then of course, all the cushions are removable. Um, and there are covers that go on them as well. We did provide a little bit of storage underneath the forward seating here. And of course this seat uh, is all encased into the, uh, the forward berth there, which we'll show a little bit later. Uh, the table that you just saw does fit nicely here. I'm um, built into the gunnel of the boat. So we do try to keep all the storage in mind for all the little extras. And then of course the boat is designed uh, similar to all our commercial boats with ample uh, deck drainage. You can see massive overboard deck drains here built into the boat. So a quick review of, of the exterior of the boat on our uh, new 38 walk around. Uh, we'll hop on on the inside and take a look. So first look at the interior of the boat. You'll see that the uh, traditional uh, uh, teak and holly flooring along with our, our cherry finishing throughout the boat. Uh, our craftsmen on the, uh, the woodworking side just do a beautiful job every time on our, on our recreational boats. You can see the galley fully equipped. Uh, it does have a uh, microwave with real feature. Runs very nicely off the 3000 watt inverter. Uh, you'll also see an induction cooktop. Uh, works very nicely as well. Again works fairly well with the uh, with the 3000 watt inverter. Corian countertops uh, done in house. Uh, you can pick your colors um, as well as a single large sink or dual sink, as you see here. And then, of course, we got the side by side fridge freezer, plenty of storage, a very nice unit. We've been using this for years. Uh, can't say enough good things about it. Uh, just, just fantastic unit overall. Then, of course, plenty of storage built throughout uh, the, the galley. Uh, got a uh, trash receptacle there, it does pull out. And just a really nice unit. Then, of course, uh, as far as controls, going back to the system side of things, you'll see the inverter panel there telling you the status of not only the AC but the DC systems, uh, how much we're pulling from shore power right now. And you'll see these throughout the interior of the boat. Um, this boat is actually equipped with uh, C-Zone digital switching. It's uh, one of the first for us and just a fantastic system. Uh, so all the DC side on this boat can be controlled uh, via your smartphone or tablet. Uh, and you'll see these I, I ports throughout the boat. Uh, this is a charging solution that's magnetic uh, for the tablet, the iPad. Uh, there'll be two iPads on this boat to control all the systems through the digital switching. Uh, so basically it takes your analog uh, systems and, and puts it digitally to switch. Um, I'll show you a little bit more of that here later on um, as we walk through the boat. Onto the helm, uh, you can see kind of our standard helm, uh, two 12 inch uh, Garmin displays on this particular one uh, with the uh, CL7 Yamaha display in the center. And then of course below that, we have our Seakeeper display. You can see it's in the off position right now. Then over here we have our uh, Yamaha controls, um, autopilot, on off switches. And then we have our Garmin grid remote off the starboard. And then next to that on the port side, uh, this boat does have the FLIR camera system. Uh, so that's the remote to control it in rougher seas. And then back to the digital switching, you can see here we can actually turn off uh, some of the lighting and things like that, even through the Garmin display. So if I was to click through here, uh, and actually go over here and go to switching. You can see all the lights that we currently have on and this can be controlled uh, actually on your Garmin display as well as your, your tablets. And I'll show you the, the main display to control the full features. Uh, we have our battery switches. Uh, most of our boats now come with remote battery switches, makes it nice and simple to operate the boat. And yet again, another uh, solution that we needed to generate being a walk around boat 
Uh, we still wanted our very nice, comfortable suspension seat, uh, but we needed a multi-system to have the proper seating on board. Uh, so this is basically our typical suspension seat that we've worked with an outside supplier to provide us with a bolster seat. So you can't actually stand here very comfortably, operate the boat, um, or put it back down to the seated position, simply as that. And then the seat actually moves electrically fore and aft to give you access to that side door. Very, very neat system that we designed in house here. Off to the port side of the boat, you can see our settee system. Uh, this has what we call our flip-flop bench seat. Uh, so this seat simply goes fore to aft, simple as that. And then we also have our folding table uh, here to create more space on board. Very, very neat system. Then a couple of our options uh, that we offer in our boat unique to each customer is we have our side console with built-in storage. Again, 110 outlets, and then below that is a USB outlet uh, for all your smart uh, devices. Then we have what we call our, our uh, side table for the co-pilot side. Um, this provides just another place to eat or store the maps, things like that. R really nice solution. Uh, again, another option that you see on some of our boats uh, is a second console for the for the co-pilot to install your, your Garmin electronics in as well. We make our way down to the uh, Ford berth. We'll take a look at the, uh, the head off to the port. Uh, this massive uh, queen size berth forward and then some storage off to the starboard side. So again, woodworking department knocked this one out of the park. Uh, this was a unique first off design. Never built this size uh, cutty cabin and uh, it turned out really well. Probably won't show in, in the uh, video, but this is larger than a queen size. I, I actually fit uh, at almost six feet uh, um, in the larger areas there. So it's not like your feet are going underneath the, these uh, overhang areas. So very, very spacious. And then of course, fully lighted. Everything in the boat is LED. Uh, we do have tons of ventilation. So uh, there is our deck hatch uh, with the uh, privacy screen closed. And then if we pull it this way, tug screen, and then of course it is opening. Port light on the uh, starboard side, reading lights there for you as well. Again, another uh, iPort station for the iPads. And then we also have a thermostat control there for our hydronic heating system. Uh, got some storage here, hanging locker. Uh, this is access to switches. And then of course the brains of the C-Zone system. So control all the bilge pumps, uh, water pump, uh, lighting in the boat. Basically all the 12 volt systems are on this display. And again, that also is networked to the Garmin displays and will be controllable by your smart uh, phone or, or uh, tablet. And in usual uh, Eelcraft form, uh, from our commercial side of things, every fuse is neatly done, labeled, um, and we do provide extra fuses on board as well. So access to all the important systems. Again, to port, really nice uh, head uh, system with in-floor drainage. Does have a uh, shower built in as well. Uh, definitely a usable space. Very comfortable to, to take a shower in here. Everything is designed to get wet. Uh, just a quick wipe down, being Corian countertops, uh, all painted surfaces, very, very easy to take care of. Again, another port light, and it does have an exhaust fan two speed uh, that is uh, um, positive closing uh, in those rougher sea days. Never actually had water come in it, uh, but it is a very nice sealed unit. Again, more storage uh, built into the seat box here. And then again, the table is designed to raise and lower on a, on a gas assisted pedestal. Um, make this into a berth. You saw the filler cushion down below. Now if I turn myself around here, we can have a look at uh, the additional storage in the boat. This is quite massive. You can see in here, it's very large. Some of the systems are on board here. So there you see the hot water tank, some of the customer's belongings. Uh, underneath uh, this uh, aluminum panel will find the holding tank. So easily removable if you need to service it. Then additional storage all on this side. You did provide a nice little light there as well. If we make our way aft, last but not least is our quarter berth on this particular boat. 
Again, like with everything on this boat, not our typical design. So if we make our way down in here, this is what we're calling our transverse quarter berth. So instead of the, the berth running fore to aft, uh, this berth actually runs the, the width of the boat. So this is literally a, a queen size mattress. Uh, very, very nice, spacious area. Uh, tons of storage down in here. Being a walk around boat, we built in the additional storage there. And then of course, the uh, the settee area is in case to provide more headroom height to enter the space as well. Now if we wrap down around here, you can see there's additional storage back here as well. So that's a quick tour of the uh, 38 walk around boat from Eaglecraft. This particular one's powered by triple 300 Yamahas. Feel free to reach out and check out our website, eaglecraft.com for any more information. Look forward to hearing from you soon.